the very first thing we have to do is to make a slip knot. So I'm going to form a loop and take my working yarn behind the loop, grab my yarn and pull my knot tight. Then I'm going to take my crochet hook and put it through the loop and pull my working yarn. I'm now going to make my foundation chain and for this little swatch I'm just going to make 12 chains. So to make a chain I'm going to yarn over and pull my yarn through the loop on the hook. Like that, there is my first chain. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. And I would do that 12 times. And here I have my 12 chains. That is my foundation chain. And I'm going to make two more chains. One and two. And these two chains do not count as a stitch. They only serve to lift my first row up in position as a normal double crochet. So to make my first double crochet I'm going to skip these two chains and work my stitch into this third chain from the hook. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the third stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops. I will yarn over again and pull through the last two loops on the hook. So here is my first double crochet and I will do the same thing once more. Yarn over, insert my hook into the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And I will just continue in this way all the way across the row. what my first row of double crochet looks like. I'm now ready to start my second row and here at the end of the row some people like to make two or three chains but I like to make just one very long chain like that. I will then turn my work and this first chain does not count as a stitch so I'm going to work my first double crochet here into the very first stitch. I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. And I will continue all the way across. And here at the end of the row is where some people might get confused because we have both a normal double crochet and we have the two chains that we skipped in the beginning. But we're only going to work into the double crochet as the two chains do not count as a stitch. So we are going to yarn over, insert the hook, 
yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So here we have our first two rows. And we are just going to continue in this way until we are satisfied with the size of our swatch. So I'm going to make a turning chain, turn my work and make my double crochet stitches. I have now reached the end of my very last row, so I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to pull my loop, cut my yarn, put my yarn tail through the loop like that and tighten my knot. And that is how you make the double crochet. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for more videos like this. I really hope to see you next time and have a nice day. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.